And now, Freelance Heroism presents Return to Ravenloft. Hey everybody and welcome to Freelance Heroism. My name is Dees. And I'm Rachel. And before I even get started, we just want to say thank you to everyone out there who donates at the Patreon, in particular those who donate at the producer tier. You make a better show for everyone. Yes. Rachel, you want to let us know who they are? I would love to. We want to say thank you to Duncan, Nate, Breakmeister, Rebecca, and Chris Sones. Thank you so much, everyone. We really appreciate it. Couldn't do it without you guys. That's right. Rachel. Dees. Right now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we have a sort of a, an, an intonation and like fucking rhythm that we use now. Mm-hmm. So like at the segment switchover, uh-huh. I just go right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, fucking Last of Us comes out tonight. Yes. As we were recording um, this, the first episode of The Last of Us TV show comes out tonight. I'm very excited for it. I played both of the games. Uh, they're very good. So I'm very excited for the show. I have played the first part of the game, like maybe first couple hours mm-hmm. uh, on the old version. Mm-hmm. Then I got The Last of Us remake, the new one. Yeah. Uh, and I started playing that one again, but I haven't even gotten to where I was in the old one. But I do really enjoy it, mm-hmm. um, except for, you know, a couple of the scenes are very uh, annoying. <laughs> <laughs> People just beating the shit out of you with fucking the butt <laughs> of their weapon. All the <laughs> Joel has a rough life for his first little chunk of that game. <laughs> That's true. He does. Poor Joel. Uh, um, but I am, I'm really excited. I've been excited for this ever since, I think since they announced like casting, I was mm-hmm. like, Pedro Pascal looks great as Joel. True. Uh, I think all the casting just in general looks very good. And I'm really excited to see what they do with the show. We were talking about the other day about difference between a replication and an evocation. Mm-hmm. And I think they walk the line real good here. And, and this is without having seen the show, only seeing the trailer. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I'm. There are scenes where you look at it in the trailer, and you're like, I know where they're at. And I didn't play mm-hmm. the game as much as you did, so I can only imagine like when you're watching it, it's just gonna. I I love that they did it so accurately. Someone was mm-hmm. talking about the backpack. Uh, the, the look of the backpack. Yeah. That Joel wears. And because you see it like all the time, it needs to be just right because it's like right on his back. You see it like nonstop. That's true because the game is third person. So you're looking at his back. (laughs) So there's just one of those things where it's like, we better get that right. Mm -hmm. It's a little thing, but it's those it's the attention to those types of details. that I think it's it bodes well for the show. So, yeah. And Pedro Pascal is a fantastic actor. Mm -hmm. And uh, the uh, the little girl is Liana Mormont. That's right. (laughs) Yeah, from Bear Island. <laughs> that little bitch is a hard ass. <laughs> so, so fingers crossed. And uh, next week's intro, I'm sure we'll have loads to say about it. Uh, yeah. Right now on Rotten Tomatoes, the the critic review is a 98. percent So mm-hmm. it's pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. I um, I was before we started recording, I was talking to you about how, uh, like I've been excited for the show for quite a while. Um, and as you know, I don't like before we started watching shows, I just didn't watch a lot of TV. I didn't like keep up with a lot of shows or movies. So there's a lot of stuff that came out maybe like years ago that I haven't seen and and we will watch. Um, but there's not a lot of stuff that's like, this is coming out right now and I'm excited for it. Yeah. And I want to watch it like as it comes out because I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to wait. <laughs> I'm very excited to see it. But see, that's the thing is that you saying you don't want to wait. You will have to wait. Yes. See, that's sure. see. We both don't want to wait, but we're <laughs> our perceptions are different, right? Uh huh. So like your perception is, I don't want to wait. I want to catch it as soon as it's available, of available for me to watch. Mm-hmm. I don't want to wait, narratively. Right. Imagine you were reading a really good book and you had to read a chapter and then you had to put it down for a week. I would hate that. I know. (laughs) I know. Right. 
Yeah. It's very frustrating to me. And I don't like part of me understands that there's like a commercial aspect to it that if they space it out over time, the buzz kind of hums along. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. But there's something about the Netflix system of here's all the episodes. Do what you want with them. Mm -hmm. That's so good. It's so good. (laughs) I know that there's there's less money in it. Mm -hmm. I know they can't advertise as well during that. Yeah. But it's good. It is. It's the only thing that Netflix has done right (laughs) in a long time. Well, I mean, mean, they've had a few shows. They've had a few shows recently where they've started to like space out the release of them. Knock that shit (laughs) off. Leave it to Netflix to fuck up an accidental correct. Mm -hmm. Right? They accidentally did something perfect and they're going to fucking biff it. Right? (laughs) Don't fuck with that. It's the best thing you do. Stop it. Stop trying to fail. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I I definitely like uh, going through all the shows like kind of in a in a few nights or in like a week or so. Like when you were um when you were visiting up here, we watched uh what was it eighteen ninety nine? Uh, yeah. That show is excellent, by the way. Which was very good. And I really liked how we could watch them all, um, like, within, I think, a, within a week. Within a few yeah. days, really. We watched, like, all the episodes, <laughs> which was good. Because the show is, there's a lot of, like, kind of twisty Yeah. It's made by the same it. people who made Dark. If you haven't <laughs> seen Dark, watch fucking Dark. It's incredible. Yes. Uh, um, I had a false start on Dark. Because my perception of the show was completely wrong. When I mm-hmm. first watched it, I thought it was, like one of these like midsummer murder type (laughs) you know what i'm talking about yeah where it's like like some danish village where a kid gets kidnapped and you know what was that one we watched called uh chestnut man oh yeah chestnut man (laughs) that's what i thought that show was yeah and so when i saw it i think i read a subtitle wrong and i thought there was like an incest thing going on within seconds of the show coming on and i'm like i just i just don't want to watch this (laughs) I just I don't want to watch this. That's fair. But then, uh, fucking a bunch of people like recommended it's like the best show ever, and I'm like, Mm -hmm. okay, well I better watch it. And yeah, it was great. It was yeah, it was excellent. Same thing with 1899, Mm -hmm. uh, except without the false start part. I just had faith in the production company then. Yeah, but I liked how we could like watch it and watch all the episodes very close together. because like an episode would end and it would be so good and then we could talk about our theories and then immediately watch the next episode right that's how you're supposed to do it right Mm -hmm. see like i i don't like being told to wait (laughs) it's so frustrating to me Mm -hmm. to being being told to wait yeah uh for, for things some things are worth waiting for right like some things are better when you are patient and you know take time Mm -hmm. but not the enjoyment of being told a story yeah that's the worst right yeah Yeah. so like you want to get out there and you want to be part of the cultural phenomenon that is this new show (laughs) i just want to 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 watch the show i don't want to wait yeah my favorite thing is when companies that release like that release two episodes up front oh yeah get you hooked yeah (laughs) Uh, mm-hmm. Right, right. It's very frustrating though. Uh, out outside of that, where you have to one and the, like House of Dragon was very frustrating to me. Yeah, it's like I gotta wait a week, <laughs> and it would always end on something where like I knew the end of the episode was coming, yeah. and then there would be like this big reveal or this cliffhanger or something, and then the credits, and I would be like, "Why did you have to end there?" <laughs> Because I can't find out what happens for another week. I want to watch that show Severance. Oh but yeah. I don't want to. I don't want Apple TV. I don't want to <laughs> support them. But I do want to watch yeah. that show. That's the one where someone work. He works at like a. Like they a, work at uh, some business, right? I don't know the uh-huh. details of the business. I think they sort numbers. Uh huh. Well, whatever that means. Um, and while they're at work, they have no memory of who they are outside of work. That's and right. then when they leave work, they have no memory of work. Yes. 
So my my instinct is that they must be doing something like uh, important mm-hmm. that, that they can't allow, or maybe it's like an experiment where they just observe the difference of people. I don't know. Yeah. But it does have that kind of weird ethereal what's going on here feeling. Yeah. That I, that I like. I want to watch that too, but I also, I I also have like several subscription services, and I don't want to add another one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm with you. By the way, everything I want to watch is on Hulu now, and it's very frustrating because mm-hmm. fuck Hulu, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. But everything I want to watch is on Hulu now. It's like just shit that I want to watch like offhandedly, right? Like I'm like I want to watch episodes of Frasier. <laughs> oh, it's on Hulu. I'm like, oh, of course it is. Hulu's like a kidnapper, <laughs> right? And every yeah. every so often they'll be like, it's on Amazon Prime. I'm like, fuck, <laughs> God damn it! There was only one show on Amazon I gave a fuck about, mm-hmm. and I just, I'm gonna be honest with you, I found ways around it. Oh, but now, yeah, now what? Yeah, there was order enough from fucking Amazon to <laughs> Yeah. There was some other show that got announced that I think is going to be on Amazon that I was really excited for. I can't remember. See, you seem really excited about it. I can't what well, you can't remember. I can't remember is. what it was. I was excited at the time. You must, and must now not I've have been as forgotten. excited. Because I don't want to pay for Prime. I'm already I've already got so many subscription things. No, I'm with you. I just I you know, mm-hmm. too, there are too many, too many of these things. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to pick what shows are most important to you. Mm-hmm. And then wait for them to remove those. <laughs> Which is what Netflix has been doing pretty much exclusively. Mm-hmm. A VPN might not be the worst idea. Because then you can remove what country code you're in. Yeah. And then you can see shows that are available from all nations yeah yeah might not be the worst anyway i look forward to watching that show tonight and then uh next week we can do a a recap on it yeah and if you guys watch the show and you're interested Mm -hmm. go ahead and uh leave comments down there underneath this yeah do it (laughs) do it motherfucker do it also Tell me, do you prefer butter on your grilled cheese or do you use uh, mayo? <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, in the meantime, or maybe while you're making a grilled cheese. You should you should use mayo. I'm just telling you guys. Look, I know it sounded crazy when I thought about it, too. I was like, that sounds fucking gross. Why would I do that? It's really good. Well, why don't we crunch here? Why don't we go to this week's episode? Got a good texture. <laughs> Just saying. So this is Return to Ravenloft, episode nine. An arrow in the hand. <laughs> Those first two in the head. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I love that. Oh, I know, I know exactly the thing we're talking about too. Yeah. And it is very cool. Mm-hmm. I, I just I don't know. You'll see. (laughs) You'll see. So do you take a secluded path back or you take a open normal path back? Well, does it seem like they're following me is the question. Uh, Let's see. All right. Half of them actually break off after you that'll do the other half stay on visual rain you've thinned the herd that's right better so then than... I, I gotta lose those guys so that's my uh my tactic here is going to be to walk up a little ways so where i'm clearly visible then i'm gonna look left and right like i'm trying not to hide my emotions make sure no one's following me and then i'm going to move a little further out and then a little further out and then I'm going to turn right like I'm going into a building, but I'm actually going to dash cutting action dash around the back of the building and then hang out and walk back to where rain was. So I'm just going to pull three of them away from the crowd over to, I don't know, maybe two blocks away and then swing back around behind rain. 
All right. Okay. Um, go ahead and give me a stealth check. Uh, I'm faster than them, right? So does the stealth really matter? Well, it, they I'll, may I'll be able it. to pick up your track as well. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to lucky again. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, 32. Yeah, that's better. Jesus. All right. I got a two, so, no, a you're, five, you're a two, able to a lose three. Them. Huh? You're able to lose them. Okay. All right. As you're doing that, um, because that takes... A minute. Um, Nate's continuing down, and you, you still pick up the three of them there, and yeah, um, still, still keeping to as much of a um, a public location as possible, just to try and continue to dissuade them. You hear um, Elizabeth's voice is kind of different than the next word she speaks. It's a little sterner, a little more. Um, I have a serious tone to it. Oh, she's like, we are being followed. Why, whatever do you mean, Elizabeth? Um, <laughs> can I do? Can I do her voice? <laughs> we are being followed. It's like, oh my god! <laughs> she looks that over. Was weird. Suddenly, Liz. Uh, she looks at you. Huh? Name's Liz. Uh, I wasn't aware we had moved to such formality. Or I, I um, does she Name, look different? Name's Liz. I smoke cigarettes and gamble, <laughs> and I'm bad. As you can see, um, my almost jacket. the the kindness that was in her face it was gone. The the gentleness in her movements. Oh man, it was the chicken, wasn't it? Um. <laughs> Uh, you you're kind of different right now, but y- yeah, we we are being followed. I think uh, those uh, guys from the the eleven herbs and spices on that chicken was all salt. Are you yeah. talking about the ones that want to nail your foreskin to a ship? Uh, yeah, yeah, that that. Um, yeah. uh, Rachel went. <laughs> what her eyebrows jumps up to almost tap the top of her hairline uh y- yes the 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 fellows from uh back at the uh yawning netty yes um it would what ship are they that, from uh they are all crew on the broken must and to be honest with you they're they're not necessarily incorrect yes i at one time um May have had a dalliance with their captain. Um, yeah, he well, he rogered their jollies. They uh, they seem to be. I, there, there's some misunderstanding though. I I, I believe uh, the breakup was mutual, but um, apparently the tides have changed, so to speak. So, uh, but it looks like we're being followed by less. At least I figure I'll just take you home drop you off and then you let me deal with whatever is about to happen I'm, I'm i'm more than capable of taking care of myself and i do not want to see you get hurt she looks back at you and gives you a wink she didn't have to worry about me oh, okay i part she of me part of four of her eyes <clears throat> part part of me is part of me is concerned part of me is kind of intrigued um right intrigued that's a good word for it <laughs> Uh, uh, they call her the silk lady because she descends to the bed from the ceiling by a butt thread oh Nate's got a bone the spider right like we're not we're, we're, I mean we, let's just drop pretense while he's not here he's gonna fuck that spider right I don't know he's gonna and you're gonna have to role play the spider so I'm really looking forward to this I bet she's in a bondage. How could she not be? She's a spider. She's got to be into it a little bit, right? Oh, she's going to have more Patreon audio than she knows what to do with. I mean, come on. No, you can leave this in the episode. I'm pretty certain that if he fucks that spider, she's going to tie him up, right? (laughs) Right? I'm not RPing that far with him. That bitch shits rope. She's going to tie someone up. 
just like we don't we're not supposed to ask any questions about it but you know that spider-man's into it right that's his kink oh lord we're not going down that route right now i'm just saying <laughs> you know he is dude hangs upside down from light poles that dude's tying bitches up rain rain rolled a persuasion oh. check <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just when when we get to when we get to to parts of the game like this, I start thinking like um like it's like a game of chicken almost, right? Mm-hmm. Like Kavir's pretty asexual when it comes to things. He'll use it if he needs to in order to get into someone's safe, for example. But not really like it's not one of the things that a, a, a really old person thinks about. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Where were we? You were getting ready to bun the spider lady. That's. <laughs> <clears throat> I believe uh, I'd asked. I believe I'd asked if she she looked different. Um. Physically, not really. Okay. But her stance, her posture, her attitude shifted. Do I get the sense that? Um, I mean. Am I talking to someone different or is she just like drop the veil? Give me a hmm. what check would that be? Uh perception or investigation or um actually mm-hmm. the insight. Mm, okay, insight. Great. The thing I'm really suck at. Hey, but I rolled almost as good as I can. So uh 19 straight up <clears throat> you're pretty sure it's not a veil um the way she because ch- up until now it's elizabeth's been fine and she's answered to it and everything else but it's almost like the name change came with the personality change okay hmm well um let's just let's just keep walking then. I mean, I, I'm sure you can take care of yourself, but uh there's no need to get into any kind of an argument, especially this this isn't your fight. No. As they're walking, she's like, There's something odd about you. I haven't been able to put my finger on it all the way. Mm. Elizabeth likes you though. Uh, does she okay and does pro tip, pro tip. if a chick starts referring to herself in the third person you get the fuck out of that <laughs> just pro tip <laughs> elizabeth really likes you uh i'm calling an uber uh, <laughs> i'm just i i'm gonna say oh well that's that's nice to hear um how how does liz feel about me well I'm a little more protective. I see. Well, I, I, I assure you my, my intentions are noble. And as far as, you know, being strange or anything, I mean, we, we men of the sea do tend to try and keep a, an air of mystery about ours. So perhaps it's just that you can't pierce through. Episode title, Seaman Mysteries. <laughs> kind of Mysterious I... Seaman. <laughs> Hmm. I'm sorry. where'd this come from uh so she just kind of nods at you for a minute she's like let's just let's walk and keep walking as you suggested i i, I agree let's it's, it's it's a lovely evening let's let's enjoy it liz it is plus if they get too close It'll be their fault. I, I see. Okay. I'm uh, I'm probably more concerned about Liz right now than I am about the three guys <laughs> that are telling us, to be honest, because I, 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 I kind of know where this is going to go because I already had this. We, we've had these suspicions about what, uh, who she is. Um, 
but now that I'm actually seeing it in the flesh, so to speak, yeah, it's, I, I'm just as much fearful for my life as they probably should be for theirs. 100%. So, um, by this point, Kevin comes walking around the alley and catches up with the two of you. Um, Boy, that, that, that was fast. Kavir, you immediately pick up that something shifted in her. Okay. So the posture, not, the stance. Not, not rocket surgery. Yeah, her stance of, of her standing on the ceiling. <laughs> so the way, the way she walks, she thinks so. Oh, Kevin, you're back. You found <laughs> your stash? Sorry, I double clicked the mute when I was coughing. <laughs> Um, yes, I'm back. And I stashed everything appropriately. I got half of them stashed away. The other half I apparently still have on me. Yes. Um, Liz here knows about the other half of the Liz. stash. Yes, Liz. So we can stop Lovely speaking Liz. in code then. Uh, yeah. Uh, good so job. So, what on... are we gonna do with the three assholes? Well, good job on shaking. I'm sorry, the three lady. I, <clears throat> I, I curse sometimes. It's so. it. You just he picks it up on the boat. It's a bad habit. I keep trying to tell them to make him stop. It's a pirate's life for you. Uh, yeah. Um. Yeah. So, good job on shaking the three. But yeah, I still have three of them tailing me. Look, these are all. These are some people I've had some dealings with in the past. All right. They're uh, they're the crew of a captain that apparently hasn't gotten over me so over, over you yes oh we, you mean they got under you and now they're trying to get over you let's just say that we parted on uncertain terms and uncertain. now yeah that's not cool i was certain why i should be leaving apparently um Apparently she was she was not as certain as I was. I she feel was, like I might have misled you at, at the at the level to which I care about this. I what are we gonna do about the three? Well, I'm kind Liz, of I can go talk to the captain for you, woman to woman. I kind of prefer to keep her out of this right now. Just let this kind of blow over. Your voice got me. really high there for a second. That was weird. I uh... This is not necessarily a mess I expected to get myself into. Okay, it was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Apparently, mm -hmm. look, I don't want to draw any more attention to what's going on here, and I certainly don't, you know, want the situation that we're in to escalate. So, I'm kind of content just to keep walking and send Elizabeth home, and then we can make our way back to Marlbrots. And if they decide to do anything, then we can take care of it. But I'd prefer to just avoid confrontation right now if at all possible i'm i'm concerned not doing anything will certainly not change the situation at all correct <sighs> it will continue to develop as as it is now. i just i would prefer that liz not get involved it's i not think her. liz i'm gonna <clears throat> look at her for a second elizabeth whatever is uh i think she's fine she's an adult how about how about I go handle the situation with those three? I don't know that I could have you do that right now, Kevin. Liz stops walking. She's staring farther down the road where you see three figures standing on the road. Uh, ahead same, of you guys. The same three that are following us or the ones I lost? No, different three. Ooh. So there's now nine total well once this is the three following three. you once the three following you see the ones in front of you they actually begin to back up and disappear uh, uh perception check all right oh um, go for oh, it for, i got 20 but slow for me you guys pick up the fact uh um as you guys look ahead of you, three there, no shadows, long cloaks, hoods. Cargatane. 
No, no higher. No. Oh, the actual car god. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. No shadows. I I, I can see that. Um I think our situation may have just gone from bad to worse. Is this boat seaworthy? Uh if it isn't, I'll make it. Get on the boat quick. How close are we to Elizabeth's boat? Um, you guys, by this point, you guys have passed the flower shop, but you're still probably half a mile from the boat. Oh, I thought we were at the docks. No, not yet. Okay. Half a mile's a long way. Well, let's just. Uh, what is the, the, what's the, the terrain like? This the is terrain? Um, uh, is it's an a open port, street. It's a port, port city, right? Yeah. Are there canals and rivers and shit like that? No, you guys are no, not not through the city. Well, that's an unfortunate reality. That would have been very convenient. Uh... Well, we're actually going to get to the sea bitch before we get to Elizabeth's boat because mine's actually mm-hmm. parked closer into the docks. So we could make a beeline for that. It would shave off a little bit of distance, but we still we're not probably have... run them. You'd well, have we're gonna to have to get them. through them. Yeah. <clears throat> even if we did, we wouldn't. Even if we got past them, we wouldn't make it to the boat. Uh, are you? Could we make oh, a stand at the flower or... shop? We're still just as far from there as we are from the boats. Well, I mean, we just passed it. No, I'd imagine you guys passed it. Yeah, you're you're closer to the flower shop. Uh, qu- quick knowledge check. This is something right. I would know because of the last ten years. Uh, so I don't know if I get a bonus to it because my nature is terrible. Um, but I want to know if there is a particular flower that I know that would have an effect like wolf spain would on like werewolves if there's something in particular no not on vampires can we find a farmer's market with garlic <laughs> um hmm. i'm those, only being partially facetious ah, okay. those beans were full of garlic Ooh. <laughs> that is where you fail <laughs> always eat the beans <laughs> Uh, crap! Hoisted by my own petard, I could not. Uh, I could not consume the beans. Um, I, I just, I'm, I, I'm sorry. I just read that saying in a book that I finished. I think earlier this week. Yeah. <laughs> in uh, um, they say it in Doctor Sleep, and I just finished reading. That. <laughs> Uh, all right. Look, Kavir, we're not getting to the boat, not I, without going I, through them. <sighs> Look, Kevin, we're not going to get through to the boat without passing through these guys. We're closer to the flower shop. Let's double back there. And uh, we're going to end up, we're going to end up having to fight these guys. I, uh, my question is, Based on your previous interaction, which I know nothing about, right? Uh, shit. He what? is not among the three in front of you, the one that Kavir ran into earlier. Okay. But I don't know that Kavir, I don't know that he's no, already, no. yeah, because yeah. you haven't told me this yet. No. Flash but shot. I am letting, I'm letting um, Kavir know that the one he ran into earlier is not among these ones. Okay. Uh, I mean, flower shop. All right, flower shop. How, how, Liz? Do you think you're you think you're in for a sprint? A little um, midnight run. <laughs> I'm always good for a run. Glad I didn't eat the beans. All right, let's uh, let's let's hightail it for the shop. All right. So um, you guys bolt. Not we don't bolt right away. We start okay. walking in that direction, and then as soon as we build up, like if they start to immediately match course, then we'll have to run. But if they don't, if they just kind of keep an eye on us, let's walk as far as we can before they start moving in our direction, and then run. Okay. No reason not to build up that little advantage when you can. Okay. That's no, fair enough. Um, the minute you guys, because you guys technically turn and head that way, um, they start moving towards you quickly. Yep. Well. 
Okay. Uh, off we go. Dash cutting action, dash, grab each one of her arms and just drag her along. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I'm not big enough to do that shit. Well, you've got me doing the same thing, so we'll, we'll, we'll make it work. She can't dash cutting action, dash. We can't pick her up between the two of us? That's a complicated action. Okay. There is a trick that I can show you. Oh. Oh, you are not greasing the woman. How do you feel <laughs> about being a little slippery for a bit? <laughs> She looked to stand at you like just her eyes kind of flash red. Okay, so you're against it. <laughs> okay, well. Typically, I'd say that's the case. Um, she can't, yeah. This would be the perfect situation for that. <sighs> well, then I guess we were only going to move as fast as she can, right? She and all I suspect she has more legs than she's <laughs> than she, so maybe she's cooking both of us. I don't know. I, I mean, goes, dash, I, cutting action, dash, cutting action, dash, cutting action, dash. I think it's going like, to be, yeah. Are, are you guys wanting to fight them here or the flower shop? Uh, flower shop. Flower shop. It gives us a, gives us a familiar place to, to fight. Okay. I mean, she'll cover 60 a turn where you guys can cover 90. Okay. I can go faster, but whatever. That's fine. Well, I'll 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 match her speed because I don't feel right outrunning her. That just seems I feel fine about it. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I'm sure Kevin does. Um, yeah, I'll match her speed. So whatever whatever the consequences of that are, I'm not going to leave her without a without some sort of support. Sounds good. So you guys move, and they're they're following you pace for pace right now. Okay, I'm going to kind of stand in front of them as they're running and actually make up the full distance so that I can they'll them running a little slower is impeding the view of me since I'm smaller and if I'm angled right in front of them from the perspective of where the shadowless dudes are uh, I could probably get a good distance before they notice that I'm moving faster okay Uh, and once I do, once I do get up a little ways, uh, as we approach sort of near the flower shop, I'm going to go ahead and take a stealth roll. All right, go ahead. Wait for them to approach. Uh, 24. All right. And then I assume as I come back up on because I'm we'll we'll be following in. I, I would say to Elizabeth, you know, once we get inside to to hide. Uh so I assume I will also make a stealth check. Uh which is a 20. All right. She goes in and tries to hide as well. And they stop outside watching from uh because you all three ran inside right yeah he, they ran inside i'm outside oh you're uh, still outside stealth. oh okay okay um they were able to keep eye contact long enough to watch them run inside and they kind of just stop outside and begin pacing the outside you see one of them reach for their ne um the neck and pull out a small amulet and speak into it and then tuck it back in do i hear what they say since i'm out there with them uh, give me a perception. 23. We need a mortal. <laughs> Did I not invite you in? Oh, how awkward. How how interesting. Yes. Thankfully, Elizabeth put the sorry we're closed sign on the door, <laughs> not the open come on in sign. <laughs> So. I never thought about that. As long as the store is open, they can just walk right in. Yeah. Uh, I think actually Rachel sent me a she sent me a TikTok about that one time where it was a vampire survival guy was like, do not put a welcome on your welcome mat and Yeah, that's yeah. what I was just thinking. If you put a welcome mat out, you're yeah. fucked. Yeah. Yeah, but now like mm. now all the vampires are gonna learn mage hands so they can just flip the sign. <laughs> that's why nobody's welcome to come into my locations. Uh, that's why Everybody, you have a sign that says 
go away on both sides. Yeah, everyone. It says, <laughs> it says, go the fuck away. We're closed. And then you flip it over, and it's like, no, seriously, vampire bitch, get the fuck out of here. So, at the, um, we're gonna switch back to Adri riding on the horse with Kestrel. I'm sorry, I'm Kestrel the... riding on the horse with Vess. Sorry. Yes. I'll never get it right. By the time I get it right, she's going to be back. <laughs> so. Edit. <laughs> <laughs> so we switch over to Kestrel riding on the horse with Vess. Okay. And How Vess, many bottles has she dropped as, as we're like riding through town? Oh, probably about six out of the eight she stole. Excellent. Remember you said that. That'll help me track them later. So, um, and you guys are driving south, and that's when she kind of hits you up. Um, yeah, I just got a message. Yeah, uh, your friends are in trouble. We're not the only ones the car grad are moving on. Uh, are you talking about those two I met today? Uh, the 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 kid and the uh, the water pirate. Mm-hmm. They're not my friends. Bill Seven, water pirate, and the kid. <laughs> Who messaged you? Friends. Right. Where you they forget. At? There is a. Uh, there is a, a musical library in town, and I know all the players in the game. Where are they at? She closes her eyes for a second. God, they never answer when you're the, when you call them. Freaking bards. Uh, they said they were heading north, and then they turned back south, and that's all they. Oh, she points over left here, and then the next street, and we head straight south. Okay. That's where I'll go. Is this GBS? Global Bardishioning <laughs> Unit or System? So there, there's there's networks that move through to the different parts of the dread realms. So Archon has I, five G. I, I just can't think of street names right now off the top of my head and I don't want to fuck it up later, so that's why I just <laughs> left them down the street. Okay. Yeah, I'll um take whatever directions. All right. And she begins to give you guys directions as you gallop or ride that way. Uh, we switch back to the scene with them outside. The three of them are outside and uh, the one in the middle. We're not waiting for the mortal. Firebomb it. I want to be ready with a... Uh... With a shot. They each begin to pull out alchemy fire bottles. Okay, who's got the one out first? There's three of them. Um, How hard would it be to shoot it in their hand? Uh, I would have to be pretty be lucky, I'd imagine. Disadvantage. Take the shot with disadvantage. But I'm lucky. I can use my lucky to give myself advantage. Or would it just break even? It'd break even. They'd cancel each other do out. Do they offset or do I have to roll two and then shoot, then lucky? No, it, it just, it, they successful. just cancel out. Advantage okay. would cancel a disadvantage. So, so you I would just to, roll straight. Okay, so I have to use that lucky roll first. Boom. And I had a, a seven and a three, correct? Yeah, and I believe you used the seven already. Because yeah. you said you would use the higher roll instead of the lower roll. So if I don't hit with this... Um, then I will go ahead and say that they throw it with a three and maybe they'll fuck it up real bad. All right. D20 plus five plus one. Uh, 17. All right. You're able to hit the first one. In their hand. Um, yeah. Which then blows up the other ones. Oh uh, no, it blows up the one on him. It doesn't um hit the other two. 
they're not like standing shoulder to shoulder. Okay. So. So what's he say? Oh, as it goes off, it deals damage, and he begins to shout in pain as he begins to shake his coat, and the fire is spreading on his arm. I'm going to remain super silent and hope they didn't notice. Uh, Give me another stealth. Ooh. 22. That's how good my All stealth right. is. I rolled a 7. Alright. The other two lob um, their vials at the flower shop. Oh, shit. That's not good. Both hitting the roof and breaking unless you're going to mess with one of their rolls. Or are you going to save it? Uh, I'm going to mess with one of their rolls. I'll give them a 3. Alright. One of them misses and it cuts short about halfway. The the last one does strike true and hits the roof and spreads the fire uh, beginning across the roof. Can I mage hand to just hold my hand up so that it hits my hand and falls down? No, they're like throwing it on top of the roof. So it's like 12 feet in the air. And you've already done your shot. Yeah, so... yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just trying to be creative. Here. There's, <laughs> I know. Of course, there's three of them. <clears throat> so. All right. Uh, roll initiatives. Two arrows at a time. Like, poof. Like like all the cool archers in the movies. Uh, if you run a rogue, weren't a rogue, that would work. Um, you only have one attack as a rogue. Yeah. So go ahead and give me initiatives. Oh boy. Here we go. Um, um me too, David. Yes. Okay, thirteen. Okay. 22. Uh, Okay, so that's already added into my initiative. Oh, but a 12. I was going to be at 25, and then the dice said no. Stupid die. All right. Um, Adri, roll me. Two D fours. Seven. Okay, thank you. Top of the round will be the twenty two with Kavir or Kevin. Uh-huh. Hold on one. Okay. Um, I guess I have to just the one that's on fire. Is he still burning, running around like an idiot? Um, he's still burning, but he's not running around. He's more sh- shaking his arm, trying to get it off. How small were these vials? <laughs> About normal hand grenade size. I mean, it's covering his jacket right now. Okay. It's only been. Maybe 15, 20 seconds each. Um, each turn six seconds, or right. something like that. I'm gonna cast grease over the area where they're standing, just like so that you know, make it a little more complicated for them. Yeah. All right. So then, there we go. What's your uh, DC on that? Uh, it is sixteen. Deck sixteen. Okay. All right. But he's on fire, so I imagine the one guy would have a difficult time. Yeah. So, all right. Um, next up is um, number three. Uh, what's the area spread on your grease? Uh, ten feet. Okay. So he's in conference, but the other two are not. All right. I love, by the way, uh, D&D Beyond. I really like it because there's so many of those little fine details about like what com- what uh, components or yeah. is it like 
visual somatic you know what i mean like what components of something if you're silenced can you cast that like that's all here kind mm -hmm. of set aside very organized i like it sorry all good you don't think about that stuff until you need it and then it's always slows everything down so okay so you've cast a grease spell all right are you still trying to stay hidden I would like to, if it's possible. All right. It might be difficult because this spell required me to talk. Yeah. So uh, one of them does. Um... Hmm. Let me roll. All right. No, he knows you're there and he knows you're outside, but he doesn't actually know where you're at. Okay. So. He reaches back in and um, pulls out another one and lobs it for the window. And he actually hits the window of the flower shop going through. And um, Rain, you actually see one of these go through and break inside the flower shop. Oh, boy. And then it is the one on fire. He rolls, fails his save, slips in the grease as he's trying to take off his jacket and ends up on fire even more. Is he screaming now? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Also, one could argue that the light that radiates off from a fire nope. would give off <laughs> the same light that a burning nope. ball of fire in the sky would give off. Nope. Nice try, though. Material I, components I, I... are the same. So, and All right. I, for the record, was also cast by the second son. So, you know. All right. So that's sunlight for sure, right? <laughs> Adri's up as she rides in, um, continuing to push the horse. Fess is with her. Is there anything you want to do as you're riding the or? Riding the horse in? Uh, no, because I don't, I don't know what exactly is like, going on. This is going like what trouble they're in or whatever. So, okay. I like how you got the barred twilight bark. Do you remember the twilight bark from 101 Dalmatians? <laughs> yes, that's yeah. what the bards are doing. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, how did no one knows the twilight bark? I, I do. I do. I do. With Pongo and Purdy. I yes. My... Yes. Okay, cool. So um Nate is up next. All right. Well, stuff's on fire, right? Yes. Um uh, I'm going to call out to Liz slash Elizabeth uh, call out to Liz slash Elizabeth. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna say, have you got a back door out of here? Uh, no. Oh boy. All right, then. Um, I guess we're gonna take this to the street, and I'm going to move out. Um, how difficult is it going to be for me to get out? Um, you can make a way to your door, no issue. Okay, um, then I will do so. Um, when I get out, I have, what, one guy on fire? Yeah, well, you have one guy on fire rolling around and then the other two. Okay. Each, they're about 15, 20 um, from each other. All right, do I, I, do I have enough movement left to get to one of them? Uh, yes. Okay, then that's what I'm going to do, and I am going to do all the things. So I have so many more new things here that I need to keep in mind when I do this. Uh, so let's see. I can do an attack, and then I'm trying to think 
my rakish audacity. I don't need to roll. I don't need advantage on the attack roll to use sneak attack against creature. If you are within five feet of it, no other creatures are within five feet of me. And I don't have disadvantage on the attack roll Are any of those things true or all of those things true. Who are, uh, there's no creatures within five feet of you or him. Okay, and I don't have disadvantage on the roll going in, so I can use my sneak attack. No issue. All right, so uh, let's do that. I'm going to uh, try and stab him with my rapier. Yeah, I am. 26. That hits. All right. So the damage on that say, ooh, max damage, 15 points. And then uh, let's see. Is your blade magical? Uh, it is not. All right. Unfortunately. Uh, okay. And then uh, let's see. I can attack twice whenever I take the attack. So I can do an extra attack. So we'll do it again. Uh, that time is only oh, it's a 20 versus AC. Will that hit? You hit. Okay, uh, that is 11 points of damage. I assume not all of that makes it through. Uh, and then, can, oh, and then, oh, wait, I need to do my sneak attack damage. Crap. Um, hang on. On that first attack, that would have been an extra. Whoa, good night. 14 points of damage. Whatever he gets. Very nice. Uh, let's see. Can't do anything else. I've done the extra tech. I'm not going to use my action surge yet. Uh, I'm done. That is it for wait, me. Wait right. a minute. Did your sneak attack do 14 damage? Yeah, 3d6. I rolled a 6, a 6, and a 2. Oh, 3d6. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. All right. Um, at that point, next up is the one you just hit. And... He takes two attacks at you. Okay. The first one is a 12, and I'm assuming misses. Yes, it does. And the second one completely misses. All right. So, yeah, he goes at you with both claws, and as he goes to swing, you see his nails actually stand and grow as he tries to swing at you. Oh, that's not good. They uh, both yeah. miss. Good. All I right. Like that. Um. Liz is uh, stepped out, standing about eight ten feet. More legs. <laughs> okay. Um, full spider hybrid red. She kind of looks at where Kavir's um standing and just kind of gives him a little like motion. Just stay put, child. I I like the idea that as soon as she steps out as the spider-esque thing i'm just like oh my god that's gross <laughs> um she rushes towards um actually no she's gonna be a dick um no no the the webbing would actually melt in the fire she won't do that um oh, you thought you could melt, hold him down to the fucking yeah but the webbing would light on fire and it's flammable as hell no so she rushes the other one and begins a series of three attacks. First one hits, second one misses, and the third one misses. But um, that first one, she's able to actually um, claw some flesh off the face. Oh, that's um, not cool. You're going to need that face flesh. All right. Um, last but not least is... Uh, Vest on the back of the horse. And she just holds her hands out. Someone's gonna help me off this horse, right? No, she uh taps um Kess in front, passing Bardic inspiration on her. And then we go back to the top of the round with Kevin or Kavir. The one that's on the ground and he's all burnt up uh how are they doing uh the flesh is healing as fast as it's burning all right we'll see if we can't fuck that up for him Good. another grease no i'm just kidding <laughs> no we're I'm gonna kidding. grease what you grease 
Yo, dog, I heard you like grease. So I put some grease in your grease so you can grease when you grease. While you trip. Uh, yeah, so, okay, this is what I'll do then. Uh, I will pull the bow, um, and I will give myself sharpshooter. Ooh. Uh, since he's got disadvantage, right? Or I get advantage on him since he's laying down. Um, sharpshooter means you don't get any kind of disadvantage at all. No, no, I know um, that, but I'm saying sharpshooter says that I can take. Uh, where is it? Damn it! You can take a minus five to your attack and add ten to damage. Right, and that's why I'm saying I'll get two rolls because he's down for just even if I didn't pretend I didn't say sharpshooter. If I shoot him now, mm-hmm. will I get two because he's like disadvantaged to, or will I get advantage to hit him since he's on the ground? Oh, from ranged. Yeah, he's not. Yeah. Moving. He's laying down. But if he's prone oh. and you're attacking from range, I think he gets. Advantage I think. I think normally. you're. I think you have disadvantage. Um, Not with the sharpshooter feet. An attack sharp roll. Shoot. No, an attack roll against a creature has advantage if the attacker is within five feet of the creature for being prone. Otherwise, the attack roll has disadvantage. So if then you're I'll firing to him. from range. Then well, it, the sharpshooter would um, attacking at sharp long range sh- doesn't impose disadvantage on your ranged weapon attack rolls, and your ranged weapon attacks ignore half cover, three quarters cover. It's not prone isn't cover though. Okay, yeah, no, the prone isn't cover, so yeah, no. I'll move up to him. It doesn't. Matter. Okay, I'll move up to him if uh, if I have to. Um, okay. What I'm curious about though is that if I move up to him, can I get advantage on the attack? <sighs> You would have because um, you would have to step into the grease and the fire because you have it's a 10, ten foot feet, radius so on five there. on each side. Right. If I'm within um, six feet, that's close range. Right. That's playing the line. Um, if I drop the grease directly on him, it's a 10 foot space. That means mm-hmm. five foot on either side of them from the yeah. center point. That means I could get right at the edge of the grease. And still be melee range right um or i'd be close range anyway if i could go 10 feet away from him no five feet wouldn't um if you're because technically you would be two spaces away so you would have that five foot space between you and him so that wouldn't actually trigger um melee right rachel when you just read that thing it said that as long as i'm not long range right if i'm in combat with him, if you are more than five feet away your attack is that disadvantage? So the five feet of the side of the grease, if I stood right at the edge of the grease, that's five feet and one inch. And so it's disqualifying. I mean, there has to be a number. Right. So then if it's on that side, then I could walk to the other side and that would technically be one inch shorter going that way, right? It seems unlikely that the grease extends in one inch in every direction as long as it's disproportionate for me <laughs> like it, it, if it fucks me no I no I, I i understand right. what you're saying but i'm also um where he's at in that five foot space um he's in the center of it yeah right so that means that five you would have to be from to be i assume he's not zero pixels wide so no. he takes up some space in that grease which means that on either side of him is less than five feet right because he's about a foot wide as a person so four feet plus a foot is five feet. I could stand in the foot between the edge of the grease and where are you talking with, the thinnest are you, vampire in the world. Are you talking with your bow? Yes. Yeah. Okay. But if you are within five feet of a hostile creature and you're using a ranged attack, doesn't that give you disadvantage? So wait a minute. So you're just saying that when you have a bow in your hand, you have disadvantage? <laughs> no, but if they're no. prone then you have disadvantage attacking them. And if you're adjacent to someone and you're trying to attack them with a bow, you have disadvantage attacking them. So if I'm far away, I have disadvantage. And if because I'm up close, he's I have prone. disadvantage. Only but because for he's prone. two different reasons. Okay. Should have stuck with the daggers. For two different reasons. Uh, okay. Well, fuck it. I'll just shoot him. And 11. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, 12. Next turn. All right. No. Oh. Yeah, no, the 12 does not hit. I was pretty certain that every rule that exists was going to make it so that it was impossible for me to hit him. So we'll just. If you're up close, can't hit him. If you're fi- why wouldn't if you're fighting someone with a bow, why don't you just lay down? You still can actually, instead of aiming at him, shoot one of the others that's standing up so you wouldn't have the disadvantage. 
No, I mean, that's she's already fighting him. And... That's never stopped you before. Yeah, but I never used the bow before, so it's different. But my thing is that she's already fighting him, and I have the suspicion that if I'm able to handle one of these, this mutant bitch is going to be able to take care of him. So take the shot on the guy who's down and easy to hit. I thought easy to hit. I didn't realize that being on fire and low to the ground makes you untouchable to that's that's our new move everybody get a bunch of flasks of alchemist fire and if anyone's ever shooting at you <laughs> drop to the ground cover yourself in oil and set yourself of, of, on fire <laughs> and that then you'll never take bow damage okay hmm. i learned this once from a, <laughs> from a monk splash splash drop all right the third one that is up with the nate you see the wounds on him actually heal and close in front of you. Oh. And he tries to claw you again. That is a... Does an 18 hit? Uh, Well, an 18 would hit, but defensive duelist, when you're willing to finesse weapon mm -hmm. with which you are proficient and another creature hits you, you can use reaction to add five to your AC, which will make my AC a 19, in which case, suck it. All right. Awesome. <laughs> he takes another swing. Thank you so much for listening to Return to Ravenloft, a freelance heroism podcast. If you'd like to support us more, uh, check us out on patreon.com forward slash freelance underscore heroism and just donate any amount. We have uh, prizes and journal entries and art that we post regularly um, a few times a week. And we'd really appreciate any support you could give us. Thank you. Our cast includes Rachel Moore as Kesselgard Reskill, Dees Cassius as Master Kavir, Nathan Lutt as Captain Rain Trichet, and David, aka Dwok, as Doctor Midnight, and everyone else in the game. Thanks again for listening, and we will see you next week. The invoice is in the mail. Serious with that? Try that mayo though. <laughs> well, let me tell you, do the mayo. To be fair, you um, I I told you a few weeks ago, like I I was making a grilled cheese, and you like, I think just offhandedly suggested some stuff for me to do to it, and it was the best grilled cheese that I've had in my life. I look <laughs> like oh, you just I'm... casually gave me the instructions to make the best grilled cheese that i've ever had <laughs> this will be for post credits i guess because we already finished the intro but uh -huh. okay so okay so that show we watched the other day mm -hmm. uh or the movie uh the menu the menu yeah excellent very fucking weird and strange yes. and fun yes uh but i've at the beginning where the guy's like fucking like actually it was it's a foam reduction or blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like I, I feel like that sometimes when we're hanging out i feel like a douchebag for, for <laughs> but when you when you respond with it's the best grilled cheese we've ever had i'm like fucking a <laughs> worth it <laughs> <laughs>